So what what the this fly is that I'm about to tie, it, it's for um, Douglas Outdoors. They have a, a salmon camp every year on the uh, Salmon River in Pulaski, New York. Uh, it's just a, a great time to, to meet the guides, uh, get to test new equipment uh, from Douglas Outdoors, new rods, reels, uh, and, uh, and catch some big fish to boot, some Chinook salmon. And so what, what this fly is, is kind of a collaboration between a couple of the guides up here that have been guiding for a while uh, with Douglas and, and kind of my own ideas. Uh, this is, I think, my fifth year at Salmon Camp. So over the years, I've accumulated a bit of information, um, some favorite things. And what, it, what we really wanted to do was produce a fly for swinging. Uh, it's not necessarily the most effective way to fish up here, but for me, it's the most fun. I get to use the two-handed rods and um, spay cast, and that's just the way I like to fish. So one of the things that we wanted to do with this fly, although it's meant for the, the Chinooks, the, the big fish, we also want to make it so you, you stand a chance of catching a steelhead, a coho, or a, a, a nice brown trout, um, which means we, we kind of downsize the hook a little rather than say a, a two or a four, we're using a six on it. So those other fish can get it as well. And you know, the, when you're out here this time of year, it's, it's October um, and uh, you know, your chances of, of getting any of those species are, are, are good. And, and so if you're fishing, you, you might as well be fishing for all four of them. And, um, so th this fly it incorporates things that would attract all of them. The other thing that we tried to get into this fly is generally uh, brighter colored flies work on, on bright days. Darker colored flies, blacks, olives, things like that work on darker days, overcast days, or early in the morning and late in the afternoon. And so this fly incorporates both pink and black and so you kind of the best of both worlds mixed into one fly it also w was built intruder style meaning that, that the the hook is um, separate from the shank and um, it does a couple of things for one you you get to have a short shanked hook on a fairly large fly if you had a really long shank hook to cover that that whole fly uh, those long shank hooks are really hard to keep in a fish where a short short shanked on the back of uh, a separate shank is, is much easier to work with. The fly is also designed and incorporates a lot of materials that have natural motion underwater. And that, that's really important when you're trying to get these fish to eat. They, they really don't want to eat. And so you, you need something motion to get them, get them upset, riled up. And so basically it's a territorial response to the fly or, or, or aggression to the fly. It's an irritant and that's why they'll go and bite it.
Teamwork makes the dream work, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. George, thank you, buddy. You're welcome. I'll just come and help you out, young man. Wow, that was like late inning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Late Bottom of the ball. ninth, right? Oh. Yeah, super. Yeah, please. Good stuff. <laughs>